what's going on everybody i am zach from the focus travel today in this video i'm going to share with you seven things to try from 7-eleven here in japan coming up on the focus travel <music> to my channel I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button uh, for more of these kinds of videos okay so coming up at number one is the ham and cucumber sandwich okay so this right here is the ham and cucumber sandwich if you've never tried ham and cucumber it actually goes really well especially with a sandwich like this this particular sandwich has um, it has three slices and so this is what it looks like it looks like uh, a very creamy um, and savory uh, sandwich so let's try this The bread is just super soft. The ham is very savory. And the cucumber is just very, very tasty. Mm. Now they do put mayonnaise in these sandwiches and the Japanese mayonnaise is actually really delicious. Wow, that was an incredible sandwich. I had three um, basically small sandwiches. They were so delicious though. And so I highly recommend that particular sandwich. Okay, so coming up at number two is the yakitori. Okay, so if you've never had yakitori, that is it. This is... Um, a chicken on a it's basically a chicken on a skewer uh yakitori stands for fire grilled chicken and this right here appears to have a glaze of uh i believe soy sauce so these are very very delicious here in japan i crave these every time i go to the, the convenience store they're that delicious all right so i'm gonna try this Wow, this chicken is just very savory. It is just amazing. It's super fresh. Mm. Yakitori is very, very common here in Japan. Highly recommend you try it. It is super delicious. Okay, so coming up at number three is the curry bun. Okay, so this is the curry bun. I love these foods. It's amazing just how fresh these are, and they are super delicious. They have a flaky uh, crust uh, outer uh, surface, and they are just fantastic. I gotta try this. Oh, these are so good. Mm. I gotta show you the curry. You see that inside? That is all the curry. Oh, it's so good. Mm. That is so delicious. 
Wow, that was just incredible. <clears throat> okay, so coming up at number four is the pork dumplings. All right, so this is the pork dumplings. I just see a bunch of dumplings in this. Now this is uh, like a soup base. Um, and so these dumplings look absolutely amazing. They're huge. All right. So I'm going to pick one up, if I can. Mm. Wow. Now this has a bunch of like uh, cabbage in it. Now I haven't had this one. This one is actually really delicious. And if you love dumplings, these dumplings are just very, very fresh. And they're big, look at that. Mm. <clears throat> this is actually a very healthy uh, soup too. This soup is perfect to try any time of the day, especially when it's cold outside. Okay, so coming up at number five is the blueberry and cranberry muffin. Okay, so this is the blueberry and cranberry muffin. This is actually the first time I've seen this particular muffin at 7-Eleven here in Japan. So I definitely had to give it a try. Um, and it looks like it's just um, just saturated with blueberries and cranberries. So I'm gonna try this. Mm. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> So I put this in the microwave and it it tastes like a fresh homemade muffin. Mm. Okay, so coming up at number six is the cherry drink. Okay, so this is the cherry drink um, I found at 7-Eleven here in Japan. And I don't see a lot of cherry drinks here in Japan, uh, but this is one for sure. So I am definitely giving this a try. Wow, that is definitely a cherry flavored drink. It is rich in cherries. That's very unique. I am not used to drinking cherry drinks. So this one is, a, it has a good taste though. Wow. Okay, so coming up at number seven is the push-up drink. Okay, so this is it. This right here. Um, is basically advertising the Twisted Wonderland. So this is a Japanese mobile game, very popular here in Japan. And so um, we have a drink now. And this is called the uh, Chara Beverage. And this is basically a push-up drink. Um, there's liquid in this and you just screw the top off and you drink it. And so <clears throat> it even says Bandai. A Bandai is a very um, uh, well-known um, company here in Japan. They produce a lot of Gundam, for example. Um, Gundam uh, uh, figures. And what I noticed about this, and you're probably staring at it right now, is that this is a souvenir. Now, one thing that I've noticed about the uh, drinks and ice cream, not really the ice cream, but uh, the drinks especially 
um, is that there's some kind of toy or some kind of souvenir um, on these drinks. I've even seen souvenirs on chocolate, for example. Um, so I'm actually going to uh, open this last. Um, and then this right here is the drink. Look at this. And I bought two of them just in case these things go out of stock. Um, and so these are, I like the design of these uh, drinks and just really anything at these convenience stores. Um, the art is just spectacular. Okay, so let's try this. So what you do, you just take this right here off, just unscrew the cap, and that's it. And then you try it, and it looks like a pink uh, color. Wow, that is delicious. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so that reminds me of like a lemonade. Maybe like a pink lemonade. It is very, very delicious though, and very unique. All right, that is it. Okay, so I have saved the best for last, and that's this souvenir right here. Um, so I'm gonna open it right up. And I love these souvenirs. It's like a, a kid in a candy store. I am all the time finding souvenirs um, here in Japan. And this right here, maybe a reflection of something, but let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow, what is this? Okay. This is, I believe, a coaster. Look at this. Look how shiny that is. This is actually pretty cool. <clears throat> so just put it right there, put your drink there, and there you have it. That's really neat. So this is made um, by uh, Disney. So Disney, and then there was another company that produced um, the uh, Twisted Wonderland. And so this is like one of the characters, Dyer Crowley. Um, <clears throat> So, but I, the design just amazes me. The art is just so beautiful. I'm gonna let you see it one more time. So this is the front of it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? That's pretty neat, right? And then um, we got this right here. Look at that. So that's a pretty cool souvenir. So I probably got another one, uh, except maybe with a different uh, character. But that's the beauty of going to the 7-Eleven uh, or Family Mart um, is that you get to find these souvenirs. And it's really, really cool. So I tried seven things today from 7-Eleven uh, here in Japan. Let me know what you think uh, in the, at the bottom of the video. I would love to hear from your comments. And if you're not a subscriber by now, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button for more food videos, drink videos, ice cream videos, and even travel videos here on The Focus Travel. Well, that does it for this video. I'm Zach, and I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video.